All right, what's up, y'all? Right now, I'm in Oaxaca here in Mexico, specifically the archaeological zone called Monte Alban. And so for those of y'all who don't know, Oaxaca is really famous in Mexico for the culture and the food. And so another thing is a lot of people ask me if it's difficult to travel while being vegan. So I'm going to show y'all a little bit of what I'm going to eat and what I'm going to see. And the coolest part is that today is Dia de Muertos or Day of the Dead here in Mexico or in Oaxaca. And so I'm going to show y'all some of those festivities as well. Let's check it out. All right, so first I'm gonna try the mole. As you know, mole is a really traditional dish here in Oaxaca. So let's uh, let's try it. Oh man, the oh, oh. All right, provecho. Oh wow, that's very good. Mmm, there's like a dough in the middle. It's a little bit spicy. A little bit more than a little bit spicy, actually. Dang, that's very, very good. I'm gonna have some more. <laughs> so good. So good. All right, these are the tetelas. I'm really looking forward to them. Ooh, they're full of frijoles, I think. Oh, look at that. bursting with flavor. It's a little bit acidic too. You can really taste the frijoles, the, the wrap around it, like the bread, the tortilla. So good. Man, this is very, very good. This is like, this is what I wanted to try. This is what I wanted to eat here. Yeah. All right, y'all, I came up with a hack. You dip the tetela in the mole. <laughs> All right, good morning, y'all. So apparently there's a cafe close to where I'm staying and they have a lot of vegan options. So I'm gonna go check it out and do some editing. So let's see what they got for us. Okay, so change of plans. I went to that place and they were full. So I found another vegan bakery actually, like five minutes walking from there or even, or even less time. Gotta watch my step. I'm gonna fall. Um, but yeah, so let's check that one out. All right, so I actually found this really nice cafe called Nanita, and it's 100% plant-based here in Oaxaca. Um, so I got this little cookie, and I got this little coffee. And uh, yeah, they look really good. So Oaxaca is really famous for its chocolate and the coffee is with Oaxacanian chocolate. So it's a bit of like a, a mocha. So I'm really excited to try it. And yeah, a lot of people think that chocolate isn't vegan, but of course it comes from the cacao plant. So it is vegan. So you can still enjoy chocolate while being vegan. And the cookie looks really good. It looks like it even has like a melted marshmallow on top or something. So I'm gonna enjoy this and get to working. Muy bien, gracias. Muchas gracias. Sí. Eh, no, gracias, estoy bien, gracias. What's up, y'all? So I just got some mango con todo. So I got like everything on it. So, yeah, so I got it with the chamoy, with the, with the salt, with the tahin. Not to be confused with tahini. But anyways, so yeah, and it's really common in Mexico for any big square or anything that they always have like fruit vendors so you can just get fruit and obviously it's completely vegan so you've always got that option around and get that vitamin C. 
All right, what's up, y'all? So right now we're in another archaeological zone, not as big as Monte Alban, but this place is called Mitla, and it's considered the city of the dead. Yeah, and you might be able to hear some gunshots or like explosion sounds, and it's because right now they're welcoming this day of the dead. They're welcoming the dead back to the living world. So I want to show y'all around a little bit. All right, what's up, y'all? Right now I'm in a place called Boil the Water. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. It's called Hierbe el Agua in Spanish, which means boil the water, literally. Anyways, it's a natural spring where there's a chemical reaction that makes it seem like the water's boiling, but it's not. So let me show you around. It's vegan. All right, so right now I'm gonna try that tostada oaxaqueña. Uh, I tried cutting it, but it was a disaster, so I'm just gonna go straight in for it, and I'll let you know how it is. All right, cheers. Okay, that bite was mostly lettuce. Give me another one. So it's more light. Mm, it's got all the veggies on it, but it's good. It's not my favorite, though, so we'll see how the other dishes are. All right, so I'm gonna try el mole. So mole is a really traditional Mexican dish, and it actually comes, I think it comes from Oaxaca, but I know it's a specialty in Oaxaca. So um, let's see how it is. So this is mole, and so it's like this, usually like chopped, actually I don't even know how I'm gonna describe it, but I'm gonna try. Okay, but anyways, so we're going for it. All right. It's got some mushrooms, some rice, and the mole. All right, let's go for it. Cheers. Yes, yeah, so the mole has that rich flavor. Um, a little bit bitter, which is part of its whole charm. But anyways, yeah, it's nice, it's good.
All right, I'm gonna try some of this mezcal. Well, there goes half of it, but it's 100% plant-based. No, es que el escritor la cortó para que no quieran que era mezcalero. Riquísimo, riquísimo. Es esto, All right, so this mezcal is actually made with weed or marijuana. Le voy a dar el precio. It actually kind of smells like it. Not that I would know. And yeah, let's see how it tastes. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It tastes really good. Earthy and plant based, like weed. <laughs> So we stopped at a non-vegan restaurant, but I was still able to get a tamal, frijoles, a tortilla, and this squash blossom soup. Um, so I'm still gonna eat great, and I'll probably order a tlayuda later, which I'm gonna show y'all in a bit. So in the meantime, provecho. All right, so I'm gonna show the tamal on camera. I actually already ate one because I was really hungry, but I wanted to show y'all like the whole unraveling process and everything, so let's check it out. So you have the tamal. It's a very classic Mexican dish, and you open it up. You got this, and then you just kind of dig in, and you. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> it's actually so filling. It's so good. It's so yeah, so satisfying. So, provecho. All right, so this is la ayuda, which is a traditional Mexican dish specifically from Oaxaca. So they were really sweet. They actually made it custom made for me because they knew I was vegan. And they put guacamole in it, a, a frijoles, like beans. And yeah, they topped it with all these different vegetables. So let's see how it tastes. You eat it like a quesadilla. All right. Oh, wow. Mmm, the filling. Mm. You guys can see it. But wow, that's very good. Mm. Mm. All right, what, all right, what's up, y'all? <laughs> all right, what's up, y'all? So right now I'm in Mexico City, but I wanted to show y'all a white chocolate bar that I bought while I was in Oaxaca. And so what's unique about this bar is that, well, normally white chocolate is made with a lot of milk, 
but in this case they were telling me they were able to uh, they were able to use a cocoa bean that's unique to the region to give it that white color so let me show you all what it looks like so it's this guy it uh it cracked a bit on the way here but anyways let's see what it tastes like let's see if it tastes like white chocolate pretty good. It's very good actually. It doesn't taste exactly like the white chocolate I remember, but it's good. It's actually really good. It's not so sweet. Mmm. Yeah. It's really nice. Anyways, y'all, I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna finish this in one sitting. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed seeing Oaxaca and the food that I ate, and I hope it goes to show that it's really not that hard to be vegan while you're traveling. So, cool. Well anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one, and uh, don't forget to eat your B12, or eat your legumes, get your B12 supplement in, and like and subscribe. See you guys. No porque me miren bien, no le tuve que perrear para darme mi lujitos. Poco a poco he de avanzar. San Judas y mis santos cargo yo. Con Dios encomendado, ¿pa' dónde voy? Trabajando derecho.